Hey everybody, it's Mendez here, and welcome back to Koei's Adventure Wii! This is the first episode of 2012, which makes this a super special episode, because it's the first episode of 2012. Stage 3 of Onion Ocean! World 3-3 three, three kind of thing. Now then, what's going to await us in this wonderful water world? Can we fly back up for no apparent reason? We could, but there's no apparent reason to do that. Whoa, 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 waterfall. Which I can't swim back up. Oh, I'm wondering if I kind of missed something because there was a little bit of a gap thing. I'm wondering if I should have picked up the fire. Can I do are you anything? No. All right, so we're continuing with Kirby's Avenger Wii, and I'm continuing with making very. Oh, uh, there are things at the side, but I don't think I missed any. Well, I missed like stars, but stars, honestly, when you have lives, stars don't really mean anything. <laughs> uh, I don't want to miss. Don't want to miss. Don't want to miss. Don't want to miss that. Whatever it is, I don't want to miss it. It's a fish and a hammer power up. I think, yeah, we have seen, we've definitely seen hammer before. I'm going to be honest, it's been like a good couple of weeks since I last played this, so I'm kind of... I kind of don't remember any of the power ups. <laughs> oh hey, you can use hammer underwater. That's good. Yeah, someone was saying it's like the weapon power ups that you can use underwater, but the actual power power ups like fire and ice, you can't. Or something like that. Anyway. So, we got some... Oh, great. This is like a uh, Sonic Labyrinth Zone. <laughs> no, my thing. Well, I'm not getting my thing. And now we've got some layer 2, which could actually kill me. But didn't. Very rare to see in Kirby games something that could actually kill you. <laughs> Alright, hidden passage here. If we can get into it... Uh, failed. Can we get into it this time? Yes! Now, I wonder if there is an energy sphere. No, there is not. This is for a 1-up. Well, 1-ups aren't that useful. What's the gimmick here? Oh, right. Okay, it's one-way. It's a one-way system. It's a one-way street. How do I avoid getting hit by the spiky? Uh, no. Okay, I can go under it. I can go under it. <laughs> I can go under it, but I completely missed the bomb. Uh, I don't really feel like doing this for just a one-up, but whatever, might as well, you know. There we go, we got a one-up. Don't believe that this game has actually saved the number of one-ups I had since turning off the console, which... You know, Nintendo games tend to do that, I don't really know why. Especially things like Mario Galaxy, you'd think... You know, you've earned these lives. Why can't I keep my lives? Alright, so the gimmick of this level, as far as I can tell, is... Water has currents! And these currents want to kill you! Or something like that. And I'm picking the bottom path because it's more dangerous and therefore more likely to induce reward. But actually there was nothing to gain from that whatsoever. And I could have gone top if I wanted to. Uh, we have to get over there. So this is a see what you're going to do before you actually do it. So I want to go left there, right there, left there. <laughs> Uh, right, left. Okay, I want to go down the left one, I think. Left one seems better. Okay. I think I'm making the right decision here. Yes, because these are all the stars. And then I have to deal with that guy. And then these are more stars. And then I have to deal with that guy. These are more stars. And I get my rewards, which is not a ravenous fish. Excellent. I like the idea of that. It's like, you've got to do basic observation. But there you go. Um, this is a Maxim Tomato and not a Metamato as I keep constantly stating. Because I am a dumb idiot. Let's bring it with us. I don't know how useful it's going to be and I also don't really know how to break it open but well we'll figure something out. What? At the very least I can kill someone with it. <laughs> or fail to kill someone with it. Do you actually not die from being smacked with a box? Oh you do. Uh, I don't need the Maxim Tomato, but at least anyway, because it's there, it is very rude to turn down um, some food when it is offered, or something like that. Still not, yeah, I've not really had a power up this level, I don't know if it's because I'm just kind of casually avoiding them all. <laughs> and I've had the option to get Hammer, which I kind of ruined, and I've had the option to get Fire. I think I might have had the option to get Leaf, I don't know, but anyway, boss time! This will give us a power up. It is a cake. Oh no, it's a mountain, sorry. It looks kind of like a Christmas pudding. 
I'll be honest. I looks completely like Crystal Pony. Ah! Fine, I'll just let myself get hit by you. That's my cunning plan. Let myself get hit by all the enemies. Because ultimately, it basically puts the enemy into a state of um, false sense of security, if you will. And he thinks he's going to beat me, but then I'm like, you know what? Haha, <laughs> I was faking it all along. And I actually don't want to die from you. Or something like that. And he's dead! What's this guy actually going to give us? I don't know. Stone. Oh, of course, he was a mountain. Well, we've seen stone before. Nothing uh, wrong with stone. You know, we can be a, we can be an awesome statue of awesome. <laughs> I just love that statue so much. Uh, is this death down here, or is there something down here that's worth going to? Don't kill me. Maybe if I oh maybe maybe if I do that, we can get straight past the current and find an energy sphere. Hope that's the first one of the level. Yes, it is. Excellent. Always. Uh, you know me by now, I'm always worried about missing things in this game. Especially if it's been ages since the last energy sphere. I, mean, I just get so anxious and just like, man, there is no way they would have a gap. Okay, this is another thing where we're going to have to observe. So which path do we want to go down? We want to go down the middle. Middle, right, middle, uh, left is that? Middle, right, I think it's the right one. I'm not 100% certain about that. I kind of lost track when they stopped doing stars. Alright, well let's try it. Hopefully this will be right. Because yeah, this is like the minigame in Super Mario... Uh, was this Super Mario DS? I don't know. Some, it was a minigame in something. <laughs> yes, I think we've chosen the right path. And here is our energy sphere for our, our reward. No spikies or cherries. So, do we think the last two spheres are going to be gotten from a, a thingy room? I can't even remember the name of them. Rift room, that's the one. Oh, sword. kind of want sword, but instead I shall keep stone. <laughs> I made an executive decision to basically uh, let things happen or something. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wind! Wind! Like, this isn't even current, this is wind. <laughs> That's, that's Kirby's one weakness. Wind. He's a ball of freaking air. That, of course wind's his one weakness. <laughs> Alright, well, we're still alive, somehow. <laughs> Let's uh, keep staying alive. Ah, 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 staying alive. Staying... Ah! <laughs> Lots of spiky things. See, these are getting more, more and more deadly as we go along. More and more deadly as we go along. I got a blue star. Ah. <laughs> I want the red star! No! Actually, I kind of don't want the red star, but... We've got plenty of lives, and I've only died once so far. And technically my death didn't count. Oh, super power up, super fire. We've had fire, haven't we? I'm pretty sure we've already... No, I don't want to kill you! Oh wait, I do want to kill you. <laughs> I, I was kind of confused there. <laughs> Monster flame! Oh, this is the one with the giant snake of fire. The giant snake of fire where we can just kind of do that. But it doesn't affect you unless you have your thing open. Because super power ups only affect star things. And your actual body doesn't have stars on. Okay. I understand now. I understand. So, we gotta get to some kind of rift. Have I actually de demonstrated this power? This hot, hot super ability summons a fiery dragon. It appears like a storm and unleashes fury, burning everything in its path. Good to know. Uh, wait, is there like instructions? I can actually target flame? Really? Didn't seem to do anything. No, it didn't seem to do anything at all. <laughs> oh well. What are these X blocks? I don't know. I'm kind of worried about them because they're... I don't really want to stand on them. Let's put it that way because they're situated above pits. Oh, they, they just fall. Oh, we have seen those before actually. Alright. Still need to find a rift. Maybe if we cut that string there, we will find some kind of rift. Oh, we smashed the model ease. Well, that's not a rift. Uh, open, open, open. Thank you. I can destroy you if you open. And that ultimately is what counts. 
Uh, destroy all those guys, because they happened to wonderfully get into a line because I'm working uh, with the universe to kill everything. And that was way too fast, dudes. You're going to have to be slower than that if you want me to have any chance of actually hitting you. That's better. Thank you. Whoa, no, there's another one. I thought I actually hit that guy. I guess he was just slightly a little bit too far off screen. Uh, anything up here? No. Well, we already know where the last two energy spheres are. Because I got a superpower up, therefore there must be some kind of rift somewhere. Oh, look, a ship. Uh. Uh. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> it's a crab that's living in a ship. Oh, boy. But it's dead now. Because we need to rain destruction on everything. So I'm guessing the rift's going to be like here. Yeah, look at that. That was totally uh, not obvious at all. This level's gone by a lot faster than the last video. Oh, okay, yeah, World wants to kill me. I forgot about this thing. I forgot about this thing. I thought it would just be like, here, here's your two free energy stars. And we got to remember that the world actually has rubber banding technology. Which means that if I stop for any reason, the world is just going to kind of... Uh, like, keep going faster, if you get me. It kind of walks to where you are. So, like, I should be well ahead of it, but if I stop moving, there it is. Yeah. So I'm actually not well ahead of it. And it is a popular thing that used to be used in racing games. But Come on! Kirby! Kirby! Listen to me, Kirby. It is a popular thing that used to be used in racing games and is now horrendously outdated. Because it's actually a terrible concept. But anyway! So basically we're playing Kirby Racing. Let's put it that way. Uh, I don't even... Oh, I do need to wait for my star. Still still waiting on the star. Could, I could eat that, but I don't really care. <laughs> still, I'm just kind of letting my star destroy everything, because the star's kind of destroying everything. This would be a lot harder if I didn't have my star, because I'd have to find some way of getting through. Uh, how do I destroy that? I can't destroy that. Can I, like, do that? Yeah, there's a star. Well, I don't really want it. <laughs> uh... What do we have here? This is Parasol, we've seen that, but what is... Spe oh, Spear, yeah, we've seen Spear, we've just never seen the actual icon for it before. Uh, I think... I think I remember the things. Do I remember the things? I don't remember the things, but you know what, all I'm going to do is poke him anyway. So I don't really care about knowing the things. But as long as I can do that, there we go. Uh, no, I want to be above you for this, I think. I want to be above you for that. This is a boss that we've fought like literally 20 times now or something. Literally way too much. I, I kind of wish there was a bit more variety in actual enemies in the in this world, but oh well. He's dead anyway and gives us two energy spheres! Which means stage 3-3. Three, three. Energy spheres are complete. The world regains its colour. We can get a Max in Tomato for our troubles. And there we go. Uh, that should be the end of the level, in theory. And there is the end of the level, what do you know? Do I know how to call them, or do I know how to call them? So, now, we can move on as we get- Oh, that's two! Only two! I'm terrible at this game. So now we can move on to stage 3-4, uh, which is going to be fun. This looks like a very underwater kind of stage, because, you know, they, they've always had... Oh, we've unlocked Copy Buster Room 2. They've always had some kind of relation to where they are. So, like, this one is on a tropical beach, a tropical beach level. This one's above a lake, and it, that had a lot of water in it. This one's kind of above a uh, vertical drop, and there were a lot of vertical sections in that level. I'm really clasping at straws, but I think this is going to be a very underwatery level. Very underwatery level. Nothing wrong with a little underwatery level. I'm just not going to let those guys out. <laughs> I, like, I don't think it will be in my best interest, and I don't really care about stars. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure uh, everyone's going to shout at me, going, "This isn't a hundred percent let's play if you don't show that." But you know what? Whatever. Uh, what does that do? It moves the world into a more convenient place. Okay, we've just raised a sunken temple. Okay. We have just raised a sunken temple. That is the kind of thing you like to do on when you're on holiday at a tropical beach. 
All right. We have really jolly music. This music does not match the actual environments. Let's listen for a while. That music is just way, way too jolly. <laughs> this is this is what probably the best music in the game. <laughs> so far, at least. Ah, Kirby games. Your jollity knows no bounds. Uh, there's a thing up there. Is that where I want to go or do I want to go down here? I don't know. What's up here? Okay, secret place. Uh, do I want sword or do I want spear? Let's go for sword. I think I prefer sword. Sword seems like it would be a better option. Alright. I get the feeling I didn't want to do that, because I'm going to have to... Oh no. That is exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to kill those guys, then not drop the key into the pit, and then open the door. That was an easier puzzle than I was thinking it to be. Come on, I've played later and I should be able to do simple puzzles like that without even thinking about them. Apparently I am terrible at puzzles. This should be no surprise. In fact, I need to start late in four soon. I really need to start late in four soon. Ah, uh, going through the happy, jolly... I'm not even going to let you out either. You know what? All these enemies are happily locked up. They must be locked up for a reason. They must have done some pretty terrible things to society. I'll let these guys out because I'm feeling particularly generous today. But all the rest, you know, they can just rot for all I care. Alright. Uh, P-Switch, yeah, I, I was kind of thinking this wall would move. Purely because of the fact that you could see seams in it where the movement was going to happen. Okay, so this is just a simple monsters are attacking and you have to defend the world or kill the monsters, whichever one. Uh... What, what, what is wrong with my commentary today? It's just, I, this is the most nonsensical commentary I've ever made. There's, there's not much to talk about. It's happy, ch happy, jolly, uh, Kirby land, dreamland. We're just kind of killing enemies and hitting switches on our path to the door. Do you want to go through that door? I think we do want to go through that door. If typically, if there's one red star, you want to go through it. Oh, uh, I want to know what's going on here. Am I supposed to come in the other side? Am I going to need to get this lollipop? Then do something else? I think I'm going to have to come in the other way. I think there's another way to come in. Oh, there is another way to come in, but it's hidden. It's hidden! How insidious! Uh, down, down, left, and in. It was hidden among the reeds. And then we can destroy those with the power-up we got from the other side. And then we get an energy sphere. Five energy spheres in this level. That is quite a lot. And I think because we got a rift on the last one, there probably won't be a rift on this one. Which means... Uh, that we have five energy spheres to legitimately find. Well, I found two of them, so that's not terrible. There's a sword here that just destroyed my sword, so I'll steal its sword. That's how the world works. You destroy my sword, I'll steal your sword. That is called justice. That is called uh, absolute justice. Probably not the kind of justice that any kind of, you know, legal system or anything would actually use. But still. Alright, we're flying into here as we continue our path through the ruins of Onion Ocean. I'm gonna, gonna kind of start ignoring stars and things because I don't really care about them. See, I'm, I have more lives than I'm actually likely to use before... Um, that spear, I don't really want that either. I have more lives than I'm actually likely to use before re like restarting the game again. And since you don't actually keep uh, help, <laughs> since you don't actually keep lives uh, after turning the game off, it seems very, very pointless. This is the same reason I didn't ever bother life farming in like Mario Galaxy or anything, because you just you lose your lives when you log off. What's the point? It's really silly. Don't need that. Let's press this. Press this. So now we're dealing with things that want to chase you. This this section is really reminding me a lot of uh, Donkey Kong Country. First Donkey Kong Country game on SNES. I don't know why. I think there was a level where things were chasing you underwater. I think that's what it's reminding me of. 
Uh, no, uh, I actually don't know if I wanted to come up here because there were destroyable things on the right. I wasn't sure if they were going to like destroy and reveal a door or something, but well, I guess we'll never know. Or we may find out if there actually was an energy sphere there and we have to repeat the whole level. Um, is this a bomb? It's got a skull on it. I don't really think. Uh, uh, it's it's growing. It's growing. It's growing. What are you doing? Ah, uh, uh, it flashed. It flashed. It flashed red. It flashed red again. I don't know. What, it, it's flashing red. Ah! Let me guess. I have to get that all the way to the bottom for something. Yeah, I have to get all the way to the bottom for something. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> And because of the way spawning works in this game, you can't actually kill all the enemies ahead of time, so you gotta deal with the enemies every time. Uh, yeah, screw the sword. This would probably be easier without power-ups anyway. Or, well, it would probably be just as difficult to do without power-ups, I mean. Right, let's grab this, run, not lose any time. I don't think it should be tremendously difficult, because I was doing a lot of stupid things, but it only grows while you're actually holding it. What?! Whoa, 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 why? Why did you blow? Why did you blow up? Why you do a thing? Why did you have to go and do a thing? Um, was it because I, like, hit it on the edge or something? Was it because I was living life on the edge? Uh, it's a possibility, I guess. It's a possibility. Yeah, what the heck? I'm going to have to try going to the right on this one because... Uh... If that's the maximum amount of time you get, then there's no way I'm actually going to be able to do this properly, and there must be another way. Can I eat it or something? Well, no. <laughs> Thought I could for a second, but apparently not. Okay, so let's try actually going over to the right first, and yeah, it's fine now, see? Ah, uh, blow. Oh, I was all for a one-up. I was so hoping that would be for an edge sphere. Uh, right. Three more energy spheres to go, still. Still making our way down into the ruins. Ooh, we got another bomb. Let's actually scout ahead first, just to see what we have to deal with. Because I'm kind of... Not worried, I just kind of want to know what's going on. Know how far we have to get, know how we have to get there. Oh, jeez. Not, a, not really a big fan of the bomb gimmick, I'm going to be honest, it's quite... Alright, this one's actually for a uh, energy sphere, so this one's actually required. Okay, he's going to be an issue to deal with. That guy there. I suppose I'm just going to have to jump over him. I suppose, well, okay, he's not really going to be an issue. <laughs> it looks like we have plenty of time, so it's just going to be another run as fast as you can type dealy thing. Alright, I can do something like this. Not like we've not done rushy things before. Go! Go Kirby! Go Kirby! You can do it! That's one flash. I don't know how many flashes it is. Two flashes. I don't know how many flashes until it explodes. Uh, not many, as it turns out. I. How am I going to have the time to do this? Maybe, can I dash with it? That Well, I guess that's really my only option. Okay, let's try dashing with it. I guess you can dash with it, okay. But falling on the spikes with it, not generally advised. Could do with a bit of health, but I think we should be okay. I've got enough for like three more attempts, and honestly, if I can't do it in like three more attempts, then I'm just a failure at the game anyway. <laughs> let's be completely honest here. Ah, that's easy, 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 easy. Throw and boom. Easy, easy, easy. We even get a Metamato for all that health we've lost. And the third, Energy Sphere. Fourth Energy Sphere? No! No! Oh, we missed something! We missed something! Missed something! I don't like missing things. I really don't like missing things. I'm angry. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> I really don't like missing things. I'm shell shot right now. I'm gonna take the spear and let's see what's going. Oh, I should re redo the level. Oh well, 
It's kind of annoying, but, well, I guess I did miss the uh, thing, so... I want to go under these, or I don't want to go over them. I suppose let's try under to get a piece of candy. There's more candy up here, there's more... Th Why are there so many eels here? Oh, here's the last uh, energy sphere. <laughs> oh, we've missed one somewhere. Ow. There's a lot of eels in this particular area. I think this must be like their mating grounds or something. Oh well. Um, I have to create my own little holes to hide in here. But honestly, I don't really care that much. Well, I'll, I'll hide here. I'll hide here. And we should be getting to the end of the level now. Oh look, just as I said end of the level, here's the end of the level. Man, I missed a thing! I... Ah... Uh, that is... Terrible. I don't like missing things. Where where could it be? Where is there I don't I can't even imagine somewhere that I might have missed. Uh let's go back and have a look, I guess. Uh see you in a minute. was here. It might be here. This is one place where I was like... Uh, yeah, because this uh, thing... What if I press this and then... Oh, I think... Can I like sneak past it? Yes. Uh, maybe it's over here. Because I remember seeing an area where there were like destructible blocks. Oh, I think I was supposed to like hide here and wait for it to go past. Well, my way works too. <laughs> and then hopefully it should be like over here. Yes it is! The last energy sphere of the game. Well, not of the game, but of the, this particular stage. Ah, oh, now I just have to face the level. Shouldn't be too hard. I don't have to bother with the bombs or anything, so let's just rush this. destroy this without anything to destroy it with <laughs> um dash slide ah oh, okay ah <laughs> oh, okay got kind of lost there at the end but we did manage to get all of the thingies that we wanted the energy spheres which means we've actually got every single energy sphere in world 3 now all 16 of them and all that's left in World 3 is the boss. Uh, I don't, uh, do we have time for the boss? I don't think we do. So, no, why not? We'll, we'll leave this as it is. And the next episode is going to be the boss. And it's also going to be uh, going back to the ship and checking out some new things that we've unlocked. I know we've unlocked a new mini game. And I think we've unlocked another of the rooms on the right, a little bit of copy ability rooms. So we've got quite a few things to check out on the ship, so I might as well just leave this for the next video. Next time, boss of Onion Ocean. See you then.